everyone! In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Garmin Venue SQ, specifically the Music Edition that comes with the rose gold aluminum bezel with the light sand case and light sand band. This is the front of the box, uh, the side of the box that kind of shows off the side of the watch itself with the two buttons here. And the other side, you can see there are no buttons. Back doesn't have much. And the bottom just has some regulatory information, essentially. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Alright, so that's it on the inside. So it has kind of a nice presentation here. I'll lift this. I guess I'll just set this like this. Uh, we have some quick start manual in a couple languages. We have some safety and product information in a few languages. Put that to the side. I guess I'll look at this real quick. This is the charging cable. And it looks like we have a typical USB type A charger. Let's see if I can show it here. Yep, we got a Garmin branded USB type A with the Garmin proprietary charging port on the other side. And then I guess I need to carefully take this off. weird, awkward way to package. Okay, so that's garbage. And there we go, that's the watch itself. It's pretty light. Here's the back side. This is the charging port, so you'll just insert the plug here. And then you'll plug in this side to a type A power source. And this is the new heart rate sensor. We'll be excited to try that out. We have 20 millimeter quick release bands here. I'll just show you how easy it is pretty much to put them in again. There we go, not too bad. You only get one size of a band here, so hopefully it fits. And the usual buckle and keeper here on this other side. So, as I saw on the box, there's no buttons on this side. And then over here we have two plastic, it looks like, buttons. Feel pretty tactile. And so here's the screen. Take that off. And then it's kind of showing off the bezels here for you. We do have a pretty big bezel here on the bottom with the Garmin logo always showing in case that's something you're not into. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And I did get this color in particular. I've kind of gravitated toward this type of a color with my Apple Watch here, so it was kind of the closest one there. So we can compare the screen sizes. The Apple Watch is supposed to be a 44 millimeter, and this, I believe, is a 40 millimeter. So you can see the Apple Watch here is bigger. The Gold color is also slightly different. So we'll compare that with what you will. And then I'll go ahead and put on the watch. Now my wrist size is approximately 6.8 inches, which I believe is 172 millimeters. There we go. 
So that's how it looks on my wrist. Looks like it fits pretty well. I'm happy with that. Let's see if I can go ahead and turn it on. I believe you press the top button here for a few seconds. There we go. We got the Garmin logo popping up. And momentarily it should, there we go, do that cool little thing. Now it's showing multiple different languages and scrolling through, so I assume I would... No, okay, I guess once you touch it, it kind of pops up with this. Shows that it's got 72% battery out of the box, and then you need to choose your language. So mine will be English, but just to show you the multiple languages that are available. That is a lot of languages, so hopefully one on there will work for you. And I'll go ahead and tap on English. Now it says pair with phone. So I'll go ahead and do a separate video showing you how to set this up with a phone. So go ahead and check out that video now. If you found this unboxing helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to my channel for more Garmin Venue wearable videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.